Hello everyone, I am Dr. Purud Dhawan and today I am here to talk about a common issue among kidney failure patients and that is back pain, which is affecting nearly every second or third kidney failure patient. Often patients struggle to find the main cause of their back pain. They are unsure whether the pain is due to their kidney or from issues with ligament, muscles, bone or other internal factors. So to address this concern, I will tell you some easy method today which will surely help you to answer your question that are my kidneys causing my back pain or it is due to some other factor. So what you have to do, you have to gently press and massage your back exactly at the spot where you are having pain. Upon doing this, if your pain reduces and you feel a soothing sensation, then it means that muscle stiffness is likely is the cause of your back pain. If massaging increases the pain, it indicates that there may be some issue with your bone which is causing discomfort in your back. And at last, if the pain neither increases nor decreases even after applying pressure, it strongly suggests that your back pain is due to kidney dysfunction. Let me make it more easier for you to understand actually what is happening if your kidney have failed or any other discomfort is occurring like kidney stones, then painful inflammation and swelling develops around them. The resulting painful sensation gets readily to the surrounding muscles and tissue causing thrombing pain in the back. Now that you are aware of the possible cause of your back pain, let's dive into the each of these causes and the treatment approach for them. First reason I told you is the muscle stiffness or the muscle fatigue. Your muscles need vitamin D to stay strong and healthy. They play a very important role in each and every movement of your body. But when these muscles become deficient of the essential micronutrition, they become weak, causing pain and discomfort in the back, particularly in the load-bearing areas. The area where your upper body part exert maximum pressures. Either you are standing, walking or sitting. Next, talking about the pain due to the bones. When the bones become deficient of vitamin D and calcium and the phosphorus increases, this results in soft, weak bones causing pain in the back. To help you out, you should not hear one important thing. Generally, pain due to the weak bone is located at the center of the lower back, somewhere in the middle of it. Next, talking about the back pain to do kidneys. While the muscle stiffness and weak bones cause pain at the fixed location, the kidney back pain can occur at any place in your lower back. It is not fixed. It keeps radiating. It can radiate both in the upward or downward direction of your back depending upon the intensity of the hydronephrosis caused by the kidney stones. So by understanding these simple steps, you can easily self-diagnose the cause of your back pain. CT scan and ultrasound are the sum of the tests which will help you to understand this issue. So no need to worry if you are having back pain, you just need to have good approach for it proper treatment. Back pain due to the muscle issue can be cured by working upon the muscles. Back pain due to the weak bones can be treated by strengthening the skeletal system through certain medication like calcium supplement, phosphorus binder, etc. And, etc. and the most important back pain caused due to the kidney can be treated through certain renal medication and other treatment options also. So now I hope you have understood clearly about the differentiating the general back pain from the kidney pain. If you still have any queries, you can share in the comment section below and also you may contact us for the consultation regarding your kidney health. I will see you all in the next video with more helpful content for your kidneys. Till then take care, bye bye and namaste.